Welcome back, everybody. Patrick here, moving on to another question for polynomial functions. So the function f of x equals ax cubed plus 11x squared plus bx plus 24 has a factor of x minus 2 and an x-intercept of negative 4. Find the values a and b, so the constants a and b. So notice in this question, we have to find two constants meaning that usually we're going to need two equations and then we're going to have to do substitution or elimination. So this is the polynomial function we're working with. Let's, um, let's try to see what we can do with this first piece of information that it has a factor of x minus 2. Well, a factor of x minus 2, if we use the factor theorem, that means that if a function, a polynomial function has a factor x minus k, that means f of k is going to equal 0. So in this case, that means f of 2 is equal to 0, because that k value is 2. All right, so that will be one equation that we can work with. What about the other equation? We need two equations. So this x-intercept of negative 4, what that means is that this function is going to have a coordinate negative 4 and 0, right? An x-intercept, uh, add an x value, negative 4, the y value is going to be 0. So we can show this coordinate with this expression. f of negative 4 is equal to 0. Right? So at an x value negative 4, the y value of the function is going to be 0. And now what we can do, we have uh, two expressions. We can just plug these values for x and y into the function we're given and then we'll be given two equations. So let's start off with uh, this first expression. So f of 2 is equal to 0. So the function has a y value of 0 when the x value is 2. So we would have a 2 to the power of 3 plus 11 times 2 to the power of 4 plus b times 2 plus 24. So 0 equals 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so we have 8a plus 2 to the power of 4 is 16, and then 16 times 11 gives us 176, 2 times b is just 2b plus 24. Alright, so to simplify this a little bit further, so we would have 8a plus, let's put this 2b here, plus 176 and 24, notice how those are like terms, that gives us 200. Now you could leave it like this, you could simplify it even further, what you can do is notice how everything is a factor of 2. So you can divide every expression by 2 to simplify it even further, so 0 divided by 2 is still 0, 8 divided by 2 is 4a, 2 divided by 2, or 2b divided by 2 is just b, 200 divided by 2 is just 100. Uh, so we have 4a plus b plus 100. Uh, let's keep the um, variables on one side, and then let's bring all the constants to the other side. So if we bring this 100 over, we'd have negative 100 equals 4a plus b. So that there is our first equation that we can work with. All right, so let's make a second equation with this expression, f of negative 4 is equal to 0. Well, again, as we did here, y value is 0, and that's going to happen at an x value of negative 4. So if we plug in negative 4 everywhere, we would end up getting this. And now we have to simplify it. So 0 equals negative 4 to the power of 3 gives us what? That gives us negative 64, so this would be negative 64a. Negative 4 squared is 16 times 11, we have the same thing here, uh, is 176. Negative 4 times b is negative 4b, and then uh, we have this 24 here. So simplifying it like we did here, we got negative 64a minus 4b, and then this will be uh, 200. And then uh, let's divide everything by 4. 
simplify it a little further. Now you're not always going to be able to simplify this, but notice how each of these expressions can be divided by 4 smoothly. So if that can happen, you always want to try to simplify it a little further. So negative 64a divided by 4 gives us negative 16a. Negative 4b uh, divided by 4 gives us just negative b. And then 200 divided by 4 is 50. And then um, like we did here, let's bring all of the variables over to one side. So bringing this negative 16a over and negative b over, we'd have positive 16a plus b equals 50. And this is equation 2. So notice now how we have two equations and we can do substitution or elimination to solve for that a and b. Now before we move on, I actually want to point out a mistake that I made and I did it with this algebra here. I knew something was wrong once I got here, so I paused the video. I swear I was looking at the whiteboard for like five minutes or just looking at this for five minutes and it was like a small mistake. I couldn't find it um, really quickly. And then I realized that uh, here, this should be two to the power of two, right? Because it's 11x squared. I put two to the power of four. So hopefully you caught that before I did, uh, but it just shows you how easy it is uh, to make a mistake with these types of questions where you're doing this much algebra. So you gotta be really careful with each step. Even me, I can make mistakes as well. I was kind of rushing through it. Could have been a little bit more conscious. So make sure you're super conscious of everything when you are doing these types of questions where you have to do a bunch of algebra like this. It's going to save you a lot more time in the long run. So this 2 to the power of 2 is 4 times 11. This should be 44. Then 44 plus 24, that should be 68. 68 divided by 2 gives us 34. And then when we bring that 34 over, this here should be negative 34. So the two equations that we are going to use to solve for the constants a, b, and b are final correct equations are negative 34 equals 4a plus b, 16a plus b equals 50. So writing those two equations up here, uh, we can do substitution or elimination to solve for these a and b values. Uh, I would suggest doing substitution. I prefer always doing substitution, especially if I have variables like this that are by themselves. So what I'm going to do is I am going to isolate for the b in equation 1 here. So I'm going to keep the b on the right side, bring this 4a over, so I'll have negative 34 minus 4a. So b equals negative 34 minus 4a. I'm going to take this b value and sub it into this b value here. So I'll have 16a plus, you want to put this whole expression in brackets. Always put brackets. When in doubt, put brackets. It uh, could save you a lot of headache in the end. So 16a, um, there's like a positive 1 in front here. So distributing it, uh, it inside, you just end up with negative 34 minus 4a, that same expression. And that's going to equal 50. So now, notice how everything, um, there's only one variable left, a right, because we subbed in for this b value here, this expression. So let's bring this negative 34 over, and then we'll have 16a minus 4a on the left side, so that'll be 12a, and then uh, 50 plus 34, right, negative 34 becomes positive when we bring it over, that would be 84. Divide both sides by 12 to get that a by itself, so a is equal to 7. So now a is equal to 7, we can take that a value and then plug it in here and solve for our b value. So our b value is equal to negative 34 minus 4a, right? This expression that we had up here. So b equals negative 34 minus 4 times a value of 7. And when you end up doing that negative 34 minus 28, that would give you negative 62. So our a value is 7, our b value is negative 62. Those are your final answers. <clears throat> and you can always check your answers 
uh, with these types of questions, what you can do is you could plug in this A value of 7 up here, this B value of negative 62 here. So your polynomial would be f of x equals 7x cubed plus 11x squared minus 62x plus 24. And then taking that polynomial uh, function with all of its leading coefficients, you can make sure that those original expressions that we make hold. So you can make sure that f of 2 equals 0. So plug in all the uh, x values as 2. Make sure that you get a y value 0. And you can make sure that this coordinate holds, this x-intercept of negative 4. So you could plug in all of, um, you could plug in negative 4 for all the x values. Make sure that y value is equal to 0. And when you do that with this a and b value, you would uh, get those expressions to hold. So those are your final answers.